Some things really need no words. Though the house just to the right of this one does not even appear to be on a foundation. It was shifted from elsewhere. That's where it was dropped. You can see where it uh, is just kind of bulging, ready to fall apart. On this one, a wall dropped out in one direction, another wall in another direction. Just incredible to think families were living there such a short time ago. Maybe the most poignant picture is here, where there's personal belongings, toys of a baby. Things that weren't blown away but are so full of insulation, insulation and glass and so water damaged that they can't be saved. It took a lot of things. The tornado. It took roofs, it took belongings, but it has not taken the human spirit. As the days go on, they get stronger. They plan, they work together, they're grateful to be alive, they mourn their, those they've lost, and they move forward. I've talked with many people here that have survivor guilt, wondering why they survived when family and friends and loved ones didn't. With looking at the incredible amount of destruction here. It's just incredible that anybody survived. And the fact that the great, great majority of people did survive. Well, you know, we've seen it stated on several buildings. God bless Joplin. The evening of this tornado, I'm sure he did. That's not gonna help those that lost a loved one but it could have easily been over a thousand, over two thousand. So we support the families that have lost loved ones. We help those through that have went through a terrible, terrible time. The roar of the tornado. I've talked with many people that have been picked up, were picked up and thrown. Some that started out in, in a building and ended up outside of a building. The healing has started, and it's time to move forward. I agree with what they say. God bless Joplin.